Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author and trading view with over 190k reputation points. In this video, I will be speaking about gold. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first I will be covering the technical aspect for this market, then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders, so the COT data, so essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing and how they're moving their orders. And by the end of the video, by using a combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here for this pair. So this is definitely a video you do not want to miss. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. Starting here from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that at the moment we have a market which is testing and rejecting a quite strong historical structure level for this market. In fact, this area was acting here as previous resistance, creating multiple rejections to the downside every time from this exact same level, confirming it as a quite strong historical structure area and then the market with this impulse broke above the zone and what we know is that in the market previous resistance once it is broken to the upside it becomes support and the stronger the resistance was the stronger the support level will become therefore after the market broke and retested this previous resistance turned support we had a massive rejection to the upside away from this level which is exactly what you would usually expect in a situation like this we can also notice that from a pattern perspective we have a clear impulse and correction and after an impulse if you want to measure the correction you have to take your fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse leg and if we do that we can see how we had a perfect correction to the area in between the 0.32 and 50 percent retracements which is exactly the area that was in confluence with this previous horizontal resistance turn support, therefore creating confluence of support. And inside of a confluence of support zone, you would expect to see institutional longing. And we will be speaking about institutional longing later on when we move to the order flow analysis for this pair. So for now, let's just keep in mind that we had a massive impulse to the upside. And after an impulse, what we would expect is first a correction and then the continuation higher. So what we could expect actually here is now to see some short-term bearish price action being created for the market to create a correction as this correction here because when you have an uptrend you expect the market to create a series of higher highs and higher lows but since we already had two higher lows and two higher highs the next step would be a correction lower for the creation of yet another higher low and then for the market to continue higher so from a monthly standpoint bearish price action could be expected let's keep that in mind and drop down on the weekly time frame now from a weekly perspective the situation is very similar in fact we can notice also here the creation of an impulse correction higher high now we could expect another correction before the continuation higher meaning that at least in the short term short term bearish price action could be expected here we can also notice that if the market is to start a correction here we can identify a first potential downside target by taking our fibonacci from the low to the high of this impulse leg and this would give us here the 0.32 as a first potential potential downside target in the case the market from here starts a correction Going down to the daily time frame, what do we see? Now, from a daily perspective, I did speak about gold quite a few times in the past. I spoke about it when the market was here. I explained all the reasons for which we could expect this push higher. Again, on the retest of the structure level from here, I explained all the reasons for which we could expect this push to the upside. Again, when the market here was correcting, I explained all the reasons for which we could expect first this impulse. And on the retest of the structure from here, again, I explained all the reasons for which we could expect the continuation higher and in the very last analysis after this impulse and correction i explained all the reasons for which we could expect the creation of yet another daily higher high which is in fact what the market gave us and by the way i will link in description 
all these previous analysis, so you can go and check them out for more free education. However, at the moment, what do we have and where we can be looking for the new structure to be formed? Now, before we go more in detail into what we have from a technical perspective here on the daily time frame, first, let's go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing. Now, if we check the data for gold, what we can notice is that with the last report, actually net positions finally started decreasing. We went from having 207.2k net positions down to 202.4k net positions, showing how institutions are now adding shorts and closing longs. We can see 34 K shorts added with the last report from an institutional perspective on gold and 1,600 longs getting closed on gold. So as institutions are adding shorts and closing longs, it means they do expect a potential correction lower, which is already what we have identified by looking at the monthly and weekly time frame. In fact, on both time frames, we have identified the possibility of seeing some short-term bearish price action being developed. So here on the daily time frame, what we have from a daily perspective. And by the way, if you still haven't, make sure that you join my free Telegram channel, which you find here on the screen and also linked in description, so you never miss new updates. Now, back to the analysis. As I was saying, from a daily perspective, what do we have? Well, this is the level at which we have structure. This zone was acting as previous support here, again, support here. Until the market will remain above the support, it can easily continue higher. However, if, and only if we get a break below the support, only at that point, this previous support would become resistance. So on the retest of that previous support and resistance, that is where we have good probability of seeing more institutional shorting, which at that point would further increase the probabilities of a potential push lower below the area. So if we get this impulse and correction, what would I expect in a situation like this? Well, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily timeframes combined with the COT data, those are the best timeframes when it comes to the directional aspect of the market. However, when it comes to identifying early shifts in the trend of a market, the best timeframes for that are the intraday timeframes, so for our and lower. Therefore, what I would expect is that if this market would shift from an intraday bullish to bearish market, at that point, I wouldn't be surprised to see a potential push lower, completing this daily impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside. Now, if you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website, which you find linked both in the description and on the main page of my YouTube channel here. You have the possibility to gain access to the most complete, all-inclusive mentorship program that I have created for you. As soon as you open the website, you will see this video breaking down everything included in the mentorship program. And in the program, you have the possibility to gain access to all my courses and also to the software, so the COT data software, which is exactly the one that we used in this analysis, the trading station software with Telegram signals integration, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. You also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring directly with me, so you will have my personal contact. And if you continue to scroll down on the website, you will see that Directly from the website, you will have the possibility to register and gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the registration process. So at least I suggest that you go and check it out right now. The link is both in description and in the main page of my YouTube channel, and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and also let me know in the comments below for any new pairs or topics that you would like me to cover in my next videos. And I will see you in my next breakdown.